Sony Corporation announced the TV-8 in 1959. It went on sale in the U.S. in 1960. This was Sony's first nearly all-transistor television and the first television Sony sold in the U.S. This portable 8-inch picture tube TV set was an exciting breakthrough for Sony. The $249.95 price translates to over $2,255 today. Up to this time, most television sets were large and heavy, with numerous heat-generating vacuum tubes that were prone to burn out. The TV-8 provided relatively easy portability and greatly expanded the opportunity for personal TV viewing in the 1960s. The TV-8 specifications included 23 transistors and 18 diodes, two high-voltage rectifiers, a black and white 8-inch picture tube, optional battery pack or AC power cord, VHF channel reception 2 through 13, carrying handle, removable sun visor and telescoping antenna, two mini phono jacks on the front, left jack is for an additional external speaker, right jack is for headphone listening. This TV-8 is over 60 years old and needs refurbishing. Its control knobs and electrolytic capacitors have degraded over time. However, it still provides a video image when fed an analog picture signal from our RCA VCR machine. C3PO Here's an example. R2-D2. These futuristic robots have their origins in the earliest science fiction films. Now, this is uh, no offense, but you are a robot, aren't you? That is correct, sir. The 1946 your science fiction film Forbidden Planet was ahead of its time. Special effects expert A. Arnold Gillespie's creation, Robbie the Robot, remains one of the best-loved science fiction characters in movie history. Nice climate you have here. High oxygen content. I rarely use it myself, sir. It promotes rust. Although marketed by Sony as the first all-transistor television, the TV-8 did contain two small rectifier tubes and, of course, the picture tube. Sony's marketing advertisements focused on the TV-8's portability, its professional look, and clean artistic styling. Although the set had some technical issues, it generated increasing excitement and attracted numerous competitors. The TV-8 model was discontinued in 1962. However, that same year, Sony introduced the highly successful TV-5, which became known as the Micro-TV. The Micro-TV was smaller, lighter, and less expensive. It also had an optional UHF converter and travel case. It became increasingly attractive to younger viewers as the 1960s rolled on. Passengers will please fasten their seat belts. <laughs> <laughs> 